Hey guys, Mosh here. I'm super excited to announce that the second part of my data structures and algorithm series is out. In the first part, we talked about the linear data structures, such as arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, and hash tables. In this part, we're gonna talk about the nonlinear data structures. So you're gonna learn all about binary trees, avial trees, heaps, tries, and graphs. This series is packed with tons of interview questions and step-by-step -step solutions. It's a must for anyone who's preparing for a coding interview or anyone who wants to become a better programmer because it teaches you problem-solving skills. It teaches you how to design fast and scalable algorithms. I had tons of requests for this course because data structures is one of the topics that comes up in job interviews quite a lot, especially if you're looking for a job at big companies like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. These companies always ask you questions about data structures and algorithms to see if you can think like a programmer. They don't care how many programming languages or frameworks you're familiar with. If you can build a website or an app but cannot solve a basic computer science problem, you're going to fail. And that's exactly why I created this course for you to help you master this very important topic. Every single exercise and example you see in this course is a popular interview question. I'm super excited about this course, and I wish when I was learning this topic back at school, we had a course like this. Because most data structure books and courses out there are super boring and dry. Plus, the code you see in these books look disgusting. You see a lot of mysterious variables like n, k, a, and b, and you have no idea how these algorithms work. In this course, not only will you learn everything about data structures and algorithms, but you will also learn how to implement these algorithms with beautiful code. The kind of code that can be read like a story. You will see how I start with a simple solution, then refactor my code and make it better and more expressive. This course is a must for any computer science students whose lecture failed to explain these topics, as well as people who want to get a software development job at a good company or I would say anyone who simply wants to become a better developer. Because these algorithms we have covered in this course train your programming brain. They change how you think about programming. So if you're interested in this course, you can get it at my coding school, codewithmosh.com. This course just got launched and the first 200 students can get it with a discount. If you're interested, click the link below this video. Thank you and have a fantastic day.